guys, my name is Amy and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a really incredible Christmas and spent it with your friends and family and all your loved ones and got very spoilt by Santa and ate lots of food and are not feeling guilty for it. And for those of you who don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you just enjoyed this time of year. It's such a festive time of year. I love it. I just hope you all had a wonderful December because it's like my favourite month of the year and I had a really great time and I hope you guys did too. So as you would have seen by the title of this video, I am going to be showing you guys what I got for Christmas 2015. Just a quick disclaimer, I know this is what every single YouTuber does, but I did want to say I am not bragging by making this video by any means. I'm really lucky, I'm really blessed, and I'm really thankful for what I have and what I received. And I just wanted to film this video because I filmed it for the last few years and I like filming it. You guys seem to like it. So this is what I got for Christmas 2015. So I'm going to start with a few gifts I got at my work from my bosses and from some of the parents from the primary school I work at. The first thing I got I actually ate all the chocolates in but it was this little bag and it was filled with those lint chocolate balls. And then one of the kids from the school has made me this little bracelet and it says my name on it. I just think it's really precious and meaningful getting gifts from like kids because I don't know I just I love them and I can't wait to be a mum one day and yeah so that was really really sweet and then another family got me this body shop green tea collection and it's just this little thing here it's got a body butter in it and it's also got like one of those what do you call these things the squidgy things you use in the shower or bath. And then it also has a green tea body wash as well and I thought that was such a thoughtful, beautiful gift and ah, nearly dropped it. I swear in every one of these videos I film every year I nearly like drop a gift on myself but that just happened. I'm very excited to use this when I have a little bath, have a little cheeky pamper, a little bit of a, is it a loofah? Is it called a loofah? I think it's called a loofah. I, I'm gonna call it a loofah. So that's what I got from the parents at work and then from one of my bosses I got this really beautiful Lona Max reed, disfu reed diffuser reed diffuser with the sticks of course I'll show you guys what it looks like because I think the bottle of this is so darn pretty if I could get it out I don't want it to like all spill out if you want to learn something about me from these videos I am absolutely shit at opening things I can never get things out of boxes ah just did it. Yay! Then from a few other bosses at my work and like the treasurer and stuff like that, they got me this Westfield gift card. I love gift cards. I feel like you can never go wrong. And I'm gonna go spend this soon. See? Cannot get things in containers at all or packages. Then from another one of my work bosses, I got some socks and I got some chocolates, but I ate all the chocolates and the socks are in my drawer. So that was really nice of her as well and that is everything I got from work. Now let's move on to what I got from Sarah's family and then what I got from Sarah. Okay, so I've got this big bag full of goodies. So from Sarah's sister, I got a Frankie magazine. This is the sort of magazine that I love but I never buy for myself. I always opt for like a Cosmopolitan or like a Gossipy Mag because who doesn't love trashy magazines, let's be honest, even though I know half the stuff is definitely not true. And I realised that this comes with like a massive wall planner and this was something I've been wanting to get for a while because I love to-do lists, I love anything with organising and planning and I think a wall planner will do me the world of good. So thank you, George. I know she'll probably be watching this and yeah, thank you so much. I love it and I'm going to read this probably in the bath later. Then Sarah's mum got me this Ikoya French Pear mini candle. And Ikoya candles are amazing. I love them. I have a big one, but it's kind of like nearly burnt out. So this is perfect. Ah! 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 See, I'm so bad at... I just got wax all over my hands. So bad at opening things. And I love it. Thank you to Sarah's mum. You are lovely. And I am very excited to burn this hair and mouth burn this soon. Then Sarah's dad also got me a candle and this is the scent of Christmas by Royal Dalton and it is white cloves and cinnamon. This smells amazing. I really wanted to get a Christmas scented candle but I couldn't find one or I didn't really bother. Actually no that's a lie. I didn't really bother to go out and look but I was kind of keeping my eyes open for a Christmas scented candle when I was doing my Christmas shopping but I didn't manage to find one and I love Christmas so I'm just gonna burn this all year round because it is Christmas every day to me, and it's my fave day of year, and it is <sighs> Christmas. 
and I love it, love it so much. Then Sarah's brother got me like a teapot and a teacup, but there's a story behind it because I got him a mug filled with chocolate. And then as I was helping Sarah carry the presents to the car when she was leaving mine on Chris, ooh, something nearly fell off my bed. On Christmas Eve, I dropped his present and it like chipped down the bottom. And I felt really bad, but he opened it and it was broken and Sarah told him what happened and he found it really funny. But then he got me this like tea set, like teacup and a saucer, I guess. On the front he wrote like um, something about the dropped cup or something. This is for the broken glass or whatever. But he got me that, but I left it in Sarah's car because I'm a forgetful mess. So uh, yeah, thank you so much to Sarah's family. You guys spoiled me rotten and I like everything I got and I'm really excited to use it all. Now we'll move on to what I got from Sarah this year and she spoilt me as well. Okay, the first thing she got me is this Bonds bralette and I think it is so beautiful. It has a razor back and it's just really feminine and dainty and she knows I love my bralettes. So she got me that and I love it. I am so excited to like wear it and rock it because it's cute as fuck. Love it. Very nice. I love it. Now, Sarah knows I love my bath, so she got me this bath bomb from Lush, which is the Comforter Bubble Bar, and this smells so good. Basically, it's like a bubble bath, and you can use it like you've got to break it into like a couple of pieces because apparently the woman at Lush said she put it all in her bath at once and her bath like exploded with bubbles. So I have used this once and it was amazing. It turned my bath pink and it was bubbly and enjoyable. It smells so good I could just eat it. <clears throat> Sarah also got me a ticket to the No Filter show which we went to which you guys saw a little bit of in one of my vlogs which was so fun and I had such a good time and it was such a good present. I enjoyed myself so much. I love getting like experiences. It's so nice to like do something with the person you love and it was really nice to go and see the show with her. So that was lovely. The next thing Sarah got me was this bag and it is gorgeous. It's just a brown leather bag. I don't have a handbag in this color. I've got a few brown handbags but not in this sort of color and then what I thought was so cute was that inside it has like a mini little thing and it's attached I am that type of person that I keep all my like little belongings in a small bag in my handbag if you know what I mean so I'll have like maybe some makeup my phone like anything small that I can fit in here I will so I love it and it's really soft and I just I am very excited to put all my shit in it and use it and abuse it so that's what Sarah got me for Christmas. I feel so spoilt. It was just a wonderful Christmas with her, to be honest. It was our first Christmas together and it was really special because I've never really been this happy with my love life at this time of year. Like, I feel like my love life is just everything I could want and more and I just feel like that's the best Christmas present within itself. So I just feel very happy and blessed and lucky at this time of year, to be honest. And it's just been intensified a million times because Sarah is in my life. That's my little cheesy note. Shall we move on? I think we should move on. So now what I got from Santa Claus and my family. My brother got me this Rimmel London nail polish and it's in this very neutral color called Sand and Deliver. He is a legend for getting me this because I love it. Very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do some makeup products first. The first makeup product I got is from MAC and it is just the Pro Longwear Eyeliner in Definitely Black. It is very black. I also got the MAC Prep and Prime. I have heard so many good things about this, but I've actually never tried it. So I'm really, really excited to own this bad boy and try it out. It just looks like this, and I'm really excited to use that as well. Sticking to the MAC trend, the last MAC product I got was a lipstick, and this is in the shade Diva. I have wanted like a dark, vampy sort of lipstick for a long time, but that is what it looks like. It's just a really vampy, dark red, and I love it so much. I don't really have many dark MAC lipsticks, so that is a dark one that I got. I like it a lot. That rhymed. The next makeup product I got is something that I have literally wanted to buy myself for so many years, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it because Australia didn't have it for so many years and I kind of couldn't be bothered to buy it online because it was so expensive. And it is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I am so behind on this trend, it is not even funny. It's kind of funny. That's what it looks like. It's just got lots of beautiful shades in it. I'm wearing them all on my eyes today and I love it. And it's very sleek and velvety. I like that a lot. Let's put her back in her box. Get in there. Get in there. The next thing I got was just a box of favorites, which I have kind of 
tucked into a little bit, I guess. Uh, it's a couple of days after Christmas, all right? So I can afford to have a little couple of these. I love her. She is the one for me. Jokes that Sarah. Anyway, I also got some Rainbow Nerds because they're delicious and they sound cool. The next two things I got are for my iPhone and these are just two different lenses for the camera on my phone. And I got a fish eye lens, oh, nearly dropped it but I caught it, saved the day. And a macro and wide angle lens. I think these are so cool and I'm very excited to use them and put them on my phone and play around with them. These are just sitting in my bag because my mum bought them. My family play like Christmas games and mum kind of buys a few little accessories on Christmas Eve. So I'm just going to wear these for a little while because we wore them on Christmas Eve and they were quite funny and I think they're very festive even though Christmas is over it's not over for me the next few things I got are socks I got some black Nike socks I got some white Nike socks and then I got these ones with little French Bulldogs on them and I love French Bulldogs and yee, I love socks okay I'm gonna get real with you I feel like socks are so funny because like when you're a kid and you get socks you're like oh I got socks like you're so disappointed and then when you're an adult and you get socks you're like oh my gosh like I am so thankful because I feel like as you get older your socks just fucking go missing like I don't know where they go I just like I have lots of socks but then they just disappear never thought I'd be so excited about socks in my life but I am and that's a real thing so let's just deal with it the next thing I got is this tag it find it Chipolo uh, Bluetooth like key locator tracker thing device that did not make sense but basically you put it on your keys or you put it on certain things and you can track where they are from your phone I think it's pretty cool and I am always losing shit so this is the perfect present for me I love it then I got two more lush bath bombs one is in sex bomb and one is in dragon's egg I've used both of these before and I love them so very very happy to have these as I am a massive bath gal the next gift I got is this flameless candle and this has like a white marbled sort of detail on it which is why I got it in the first place I think because my family know that I love white marble and I'm excited to burn it. I also got this pencil sharpener, eyeliner sharpener from uh, e.l.f. I just needed a new lip liner sharpener so I got this one. Now to some jewellery. The first item I got is this ring set. That is what the rings look like. There's a sun and a moon, there's a turquoise cross and then this is just a yin yang. I think they're really cute and I like them a lot. The jewellery piece I got is from Tree of Life and I just think this stone is something else. I think it is so pretty and I like it a lot. So let's zoom you guys out because this is just a little bit too much. <laughs> Way too much. The next gift I got is a book and it's called Moments of Mindfulness Buddhist Offerings and it basically has like a photo and a quote on every single page. I got that and I'm really excited to become inspired. I also got two bikinis. The first one is a white bikini top which looks like this and then the bottoms aren't matching. I picked these out separately and one of the things is untied and that will not look cute if I show that on camera so I'ma tie that now. And then those are the bottoms. They've also got like a little lace detailing and then the second bikini I got is like this deep red colour which is like one of my favourite colours in the whole world and the bottoms look like that and then the top just ties up and looks like that. Both of these bikinis are from H&M. Now that we're on the clothing items I guess I'll show you a few other things I got. The first is just a white singlet. It is baggy and comfortable and I'm going to sleep in this like all the time and then I got these plaid bottoms to match which I think is so cute and I think I'm gonna wear those as pajamas and these two I got from my mom's friends so thank you so much I really appreciate it and I love these a lot I also just got a plain black bandeau I'm always wearing singlets that have like low cut sleeves and this is something to cover up the side boob with and it's got a little bit of padding in it but I don't really need much because let's be honest I'm not really uh, gifted in the chest region. The last clothing item I got is definitely my favourite and it is yet again something I've kind of eyed out for a while but never actually gone and bought myself and it is just plain white adidas or adidas or however you say it everyone says it differently uh, t-shirt. When I opened it my brother was like oh my god Eshe is like you're such a lass if you're not from Australia you wouldn't understand that but I had a good little giggle with him I'm not a lass I just really like that clothing brand and I like their plain t-shirt so uh, I want to punch on for fun mate. Then I had one main present that I got and I am just like ecstatic. I am over the moon. I feel so thankful to have this. We can all benefit from this gift which is great because my vlogs are going to be a whole lot better and this is the Canon G7X PowerShot camera. 
This is literally like the vlogging camera that like all YouTubers use because it has a flip up screen. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I am overjoyed because my arm is going to be very thankful from not carrying around a bloody DSLR and holding it with one arm when, let's be honest, Where's the muscle at in that? There is zero. Life is gonna be made a whole lot easier. Vlogging is gonna be made a whole lot easier. And videos are gonna be made a whole lot easier. So that was my main present and I'm so happy and thankful for this bad boy because I'm gonna use it until it won't let me use it anymore. So that's everything I got for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it tells me that you like it and it helps me out a bunch. If you're new here, my name's Amy. Welcome to my channel. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe and join the family over here. You don't have to, but if you want to, you're more than welcome to because we're fucking festive as shit. And if you want to follow any of my social media, it's just at Amy Grace with three E's. You can go do that if you want to. Don't have to yet again, but my links will also be down below in my panties. So I'm going to go eat some food. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas, and I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye! Ooh, watch them jiggle. Now watch me jiggle. Now watch me bat flap. Now watch me jiggle. Now watch me bat flap. Watch me, watch me, oh, watch me, watch me, oh, watch me. And I just wanted to stress that Christmas is not all about the presents. It's all about spending time with the people you love and care about and appreciating them and being thankful for what you have. I guess Christmas is different to everyone, but that's what it means to me. And I just had a lovely time. And it all came and went way too quickly, if you ask me. And I'm going to go, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Again, fuck, I just can't say goodbye. I just love you guys way too much. <laughs> oh my god, I love you. <laughs> Titties.